welcome back to your weekday weekend again. Only it is actually the weekend. Um, but we're going live technically for the second time today because uh, I couldn't sleep and am not tired. At, so, 8 in the morning stream, everybody. Um, only right now, we're not getting back into Pokemon. I'm kind of pokemon out, if that makes any sense at all. We're actually going to be uh, doing some CAD. I've been doing that on YouTube. Um, but I don't normally do YouTube videos for Two Tall Toby's practice models on his website. Today, we're going to be doing those live. I've done none of them before. So let's get into it. Um, also, um, we're, we've got some picture of picture going on down there in the bottom left. So that I can... Um, so that I can show the... Um, So that I can show the the model, the drawing, right? So we've got that going in the bottom left. All right, we're gonna try to just do them in order. If I have to, if I have to quit one and try it again, then that's what we'll do. Um. So we'll see. Um. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully, hopefully everything. Oh, we also have the 3D printer one. Oh, oopsie. Not a Pokemon this time. It's my own design this time. Uh, printer cam. Boink. There we go. Okay, that's fixed. All right, so let's go ahead and do a practice part here. It's a machine part. Tier 4, a Libre. Let's begin. All right. I haven't done proper CAD in a while. Let's get a sip of water real fast. How the heck did I go down a follower? That sucks. Well, how did I go down a follower? Hang on. Okay, well, oh, well, anyway, someone unfollowed, unfortunate, but whatever. Okay, three, two, one, reveal drawing, plain carbon steel, uh, MMGS steel. I feel like I've done this part before, very similar part before at least, um, Okay. I actually don't mind this part. I usually take way too long to analyze parts, so I apologize in advance for that. Um, and also, this drawing is, like, way too small for me, but... That's okay. Actually, you know what? Let's zoom. Let's zoom in here. I know we're on the clock, but I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. So sixty-nine, nice by sixty-nine. Okay, cool. Um, center rectangle on the XY plane. Turn ourselves to the plane. Uh, six nine, six nine. Uh, horizontal there, and then, um, and then some circles. They're concentric with a fillet, so we're actually just going to do the extrude first, which is 16 millimeters, and then we're going to fillet this, um, fillets are... 14. Okay. And now we... Um... 
they are six through all uh boink and then they're concentric there and concentric there all right shift e and then through all and then circle we're going on there again uh and then it's 13 Concentric there, there. Uh, concentric there, there. And then shift E, I believe it is minus four, yes. All right. So now we have this triangular piece. We're going to do that now, I think. Let's, um, let's do a center arc there. Um, okay, interesting, uh, horizontal that with the origin at least, there we go, and then, um, well, let me do it now, no, okay, oh, it's, because it's already like that, I'm dumb, okay, um, anyway, we have... 69 to the top of this here. Which, for whatever reason, it won't let me choose. So that's fine. Um, we'll do uh, tangent that and that. And distance that and that. 69 again. Nice. All right. And then... Uh, we're actually going to use all of this as reference figures line. Uh, there we go. And then tangent those. And then line. Oop, uh, line there. Tangent those. And then the radius of that guy is 13. Um, with a hole of N, and then I just need to connect up there, I do believe, and then uh, we're going minus 10. All right, there's that part done. Now, I believe all I need to do is the fin thing. Um, okay, let's... Create a reference figure there, just in case. Okay, so we have a line here that is 45 millimeters away from the bottom here. And we have a line here Okay. If I make this guy 114, that way I know that this line, there we go, that should be correct. Now the 7 there. And then, um, radius of 26. Um, I believe they're tangent. There we go. All right. So there's that. Uh, it's me. Oh, I am not closed. Uh, N, L. There we go. Now extrude. Uh, mid plane. Uh, 59. Nice. 
Okay, and the whole thing is full round, which means we need to fill it there and there. 69 over 2. There, okay. And then we need there. Uh, the center board goes down 3, and it is a... It's 42. Uh, concentric there. And shift E, which is uh, go down th three. And then C there. And we want to go down by 26. And then concentric there. And then shift E through all. And I think that's it. Let's double check quick that we didn't miss anything. Everything looks right. We're going to go ahead and... Oh. Uh, 919.8920. No, it says it's wrong. Okay, what did we do? Um... Let's go to inspect. We'll measure these holes. Diameter of 13. Down four. That is correct. Okay. Uh, diameter of six. Through all. That is correct. Okay. Um, that to that is 69. That is correct. Um... Hmm. Radius of 13, that's correct. Um, radius of 26, that is correct. I'm very confused as to what I'm missing here. Did I make this thing too tall? 69 to the top of that. From that. No, that is correct. Okay. Um... This bit, 10. That's correct. Um, we're in plain carbon steel, right? Steel, yep. Um, 34. Is that not full round? Is that not full round? 34.5? No, it is full round. That's what I thought. I thought my math was right. Um, most likely spot I made a mistake was this guy. So let's double check here. That's 114 from that point to that point. That's 45. Which means this is 45 degrees. That is right. Um, that's seven. That is right. Um, that center board guy is three. We already took care of that. Um, well, this is the first one, and I'm already missing something and I don't know what it is um did I screw this guy up somehow it says radius of 26 which is correct 
Um, hmm. What am I missing? Uh, is this hole wrong? Is that 10? It is 10. That's 69. And that's 13. Um, the original sketch. 69 by 69. No, that should be right. I don't understand what my problem is here. Are these fillets wrong? 14? No, that's right. I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. This is a very simple part, and I don't understand. Am I, am I wrong? What is the mass of this part? Nine one eight, nine one nine is not right. Are we sure? Like, Um, I'm very confused. Also, what I thought grams was just G. What is GM? Am I missing something here? What am I, what am I doing wrong? I thought, uh, that was just G. Um, am I losing my mind? Am I losing my mind? I think metric. Yeah, everything's metric here. So, I, that doesn't normally... I'm so confused. Um, inspect, measure. Uh, that to that. Delta is 69. Um, that to that. 16, which is correct. I'm very confused. I'm almost at the point of saying that there's a problem with the model on this one. Unless that, like, curve... <laughs> Excuse me. Unless that curve continues up into the... into the triangular piece, which it looks like it might. Is that the case? Because if that's the case, I don't really know how... Is it supposed to be tangent? Okay, so hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So if I modify this sketch, right? And instead of that, I coincidence those. And then I do a line there. And then F5. And then I fill it that 
26. I have a feeling that's going to work. 922. Two. Okay. That was the problem. So I wish that it had told me that they're tangent there, because I assumed, because it looked like it ended there. I think that was the problem the first time I did this model as well. Oh well. Okay. Um, I'll close that one. More challenges. Um, somehow I'm not logged in anymore. What? Interesting. Not quite sure how I got logged out there, but whatever. Okay. Another tier four machine part. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm rearing to go. Let's go. Click here to begin. I know I'm not showing the right thing. There we go. Okay. We're in to go. Uh, MMGS alloy. Let's go. I already hate this part. I already hate this part. I just hate parts that are all um all arcs. I never know what to do with them. I I never have any idea Like, there's just, uh, they're just awful. Okay, so I guess we're, we're going to have to start with that outer part, right? So let's just do a, in a center arc. No, we got to do it. We're going to try to keep it in the same. Can't be that bad if he's doing it in one drawing, right? So. And then this one, like, over here is. Okay. That's 20. And that one is 33. And then. The line between them, they're both tangent. The line between them is vertical. And then the distance between these guys is 140. These are both tangent. Right? We're going to vertical that guy to the origin, because why the fuck not? And I still, like... Don't know where I want to be here. Let's um, let's do that. Okay. So there's another circle here. It looks to be center with this other one. We're gonna assume it is for now. It might not be in that decision, might come back to bite me in the ass, but we're going to assume that um, these center points are horizontal for now, and we're going to go with it. Distance between the two, 71. Okay, and then... Tangent there. Tangent there. And then that radius is 42. Okay. And then... Um, radius of 222... Uh, 
There. Oh my god, we're constrained. I almost can't believe it. All right, what is this, like, main distance? It's 30, I think. I don't know. So we're going to do 30. All right. Oh, here. Hang on. There's another thing we can do in this sketch, which is all these big old holes. That one's 20. That one's 20 through all as well. This one is 28. Okay. Now, on the same sketch. Um... We have, what the fuck, so hang on, we have 30 down here, concentric there, that is just down uh, m minus 15, we're going to do that part now, and then, but we have, A piece, this piece, which is uh, 20. No, hang on. It's the outer one, 40, radius of 20. And then concentric there. No, concentric there. Thank you. And then extrude by... Minus 44, I think. Yeah. Shit. Of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. And then this needs to be a regular figure. There we go. Okay. Now... So hang on, I am am dumb. So this is going back to a reference figure, F5. This sketch, we're turn that into a reference figure. Okay, now, circle, there, 20. Concentric, there, 50. Uh, to geometry, that. Okay, now circle there and that inner piece that is somewhat smaller is oh i'm just being stupid it's showing me through to this one that's what it is so i was right the whole time i was right the whole time i was right the whole time Um, um, convert to regular figures, F5. Um, the hell is this? Oh, that's a piece from a, a previous thing. Interesting that that got saved. Okay. Um, anyway, select for the regular figures. Thank you. Okay, I'm just being dumb. Um, because basically, um, this part has uh, 66, 
concentric, that, and then extrude, uh, 55 minus 44. No, 30. Oops. Okay. And then... There we go. There's that. And then finally, I just have this center part, which is literally just probably the easiest part for this whole stinking deal. Um, center rectangle there. Um, hide the planes. Um, horizontal that and that. Vertical there. And then distance between, oh, distance between that and that is 15. And then that and that is 55. And then I, I don't care about this. Sure. Um... Shift E, and then fill it there. Oh, shit! And there is nine. Okay. Uh, one four seven five point eight. One four seven six is not correct. Okay, what did I do wrong this time? Let's, um, let's examine, shall we? For once, I'd like to get these, one of these right the first time. Delta Z is... <laughs> 69 back to that magic number again that diameter 66 that's right diameter 28 that's right radius 42 that's right it is 222 that's right 55 and then 15, that's right. You know, here's my problem. I figured it out. Okay. It's this, it's this problem right here. It's, um, It's this. Okay. Um, uh, this is 37. No. Okay. That might be my issue. Fourteen seventy nine. Seven Jesus. Okay. My numlock out of this. That was correct. Cool. All right. More challenges. Let's see what else we can do here. I do actually want to go back into that MMGS aluminum. Delete, figure, sketch, sketch one, save it again. Okay, now we're fixed there. Okay, let's go into the next part. Click to begin. Three, two, one, go. It's MMGS, ABS. This part, 
Looks interesting, but it... I'm... Okay. It's a little confusing, but I think I'm getting it. Okay. So... I... I think I'm going to just place... The origin here. And then I need a... A center arc. Um, vertical. There. And that is... 42. And then... Um, that is going to be 28, I believe. This is 28. Who the hell knows? Hang on. I think I have to do the other side here to figure out what I'm doing here. So basically from here this is 222 two, two. got some got some repeating numbers here which I almost don't like um actually no that that's a, a real figure that is regular figures um line here is 13 and then uh, line here, and then a arc tangent there, and then finally, I think that will somewhat define us. We need to know how far down that is still. 46, I just found it. 46, okay, what is missing here? What do we not have? Oh, duh. Okay, what now? Oh, of course. Uh, that's radius 40. Now we're fully defined, okay. Good. Um, this whole piece is 20. There's our kind of backbone piece there. Now we have like two identical pieces here. Let's um let's just sketch again on here. Let's just use the whole thing as a reference figure. No I I know I say that and do that a lot, guys, but it's it's because usually I do actually need it. Um, okay. So there's that one, which is easy. There's that. This one is not so easy. So we're going to convert to regular figure. Convert to regular. Wait, what? Why can I not convert this one? Why can't I convert this figure to a regular figure? There we go. And then, finally, 
at this height uh, we need to be collinear that and that and then I want to do vertical that point and that point that's not what I wanted vertical that point and that point no what is no I didn't add come on Libre I love you but sometimes we got some issues vertical that point and that point okay Um, that's actually just going to need to be a reference figure. That's horizontal, um, line there. And then finally, um, we just need that and that. Uh, shift A, that. And that okay there we go extrude and it is 66 minus 20 okay cool and then they both have a radius 23 fillet um Like that, I do believe. And then there's a rod going through. Um, circular there, which is 21. And then it, uh, extrude that uh, to geometry there. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We have this circle which is uh how much is that little circle 46 and then how much does it go down nine uh minus nine okay am i missing anything else here because i don't think i am i want to get this first try this time 28 28 i got i i just send it Send it 628. We're going to get this first try this time. Hey, look at that. Finally, first try. All right. We did it. We did it. All right. Let's do some more challenges here. Um, let's get rid of that. And then... Uh, next up, we are doing 24304. All right. Reveal. Oh, my. I remember seeing this one. Plain Carbon Steel MMGS. I remember seeing this one. This is one of the tournament models, I think. I... Was not sure about this guy. I know that much. Because he looks really complicated whether or not it actually is. I have no clue. But... Um... Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay, hang on. Some of this stuff is just teensy tiny. Absolutely teensy tiny. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, actually. I feel like 
this photo is not getting any bigger. Open image and new tab. There we go. Much better. All right, I'm going to start doing that. Okay, I, what I really want is to do this middle section first. Which I think R18 and I want the height of it. Actually, 92. Okay, I'm good with that. I should be. Um, especially since those holes, do they go all the way through? Or are they only on one side? No, they, those ones go all the way through. Um, how 14. So C 14 and then C 14, uh, distance is, uh, what did I just say? 92. And then center point there, and then uh, uh, vertical. All right, cool. That really helps me. And then radius of eighteen. Uh, horizontal there, there, there. Uh, 18, and then same here. Uh, 18. Horizontal, boom, boom, boom. Line, like that, and like that. Okay. That is amazing. That needs to be a... Mid-plane extrusion of 50. All right. That is step one already completed. Think Jeebus. Crisp. Okay. Now. Let's see if we can't get the one of the, like, fin things. Okay. Um... Their radius, it's radius 38, so and then horizontal that and then that Radius is 25. Um, there. Uh, ver uh, no, I don't need that. Okay. Horizontal, that and that. And then vertical, that and that. Cool. And then I believe they're tangent. We're just going to imagine that they are because usually if it looks tangent, then it all is. Um, finally, um, I need some kind of indication as to how like wide these are oh centric with origin there we go cool that really helps and then um, 
Uh, mirror that along that. Uh, I want to mirror. Ah, uh, shit. Figures to mirror that and that along uh, that. Thank you. And then mirror that, that, and that along that. Thank you. I have my planes extrude. Um, how much? 15. Okay. And then they have uh, 14 through holds true. So we're just going to put the we're just going to Regular figures, regular figures, okay. And then finally, we have, um, 40, I think, yeah. That goes down, like, just a little bit. Uh, minus... Where are you at? Where are you at? Seven. Okay. Nice. I think I'm ready to mirror this whole thing. Along uh, that. Okay. Cool. And then finally, I need a hole going through the whole guy, which is 35. Shift E. The wall. Okay. Now we turn our attention to this side. First things first, we have like an outer hole that is 52. Does that go all the way through? I don't know. Um, twenty six from okay, so R eighteen, so twenty six minus eighteen is how much this is extruded, or I can just, hang on, I can just um, actually draw on this plane, uh, 52, yeah, and no, I can't, I can't, I was right the first time, C, 52, have my planes and I need to just extrude how I was going to which is uh, 26 minus 18 um, and then circular there the inner part is 40 um, I'm going to mirror that guy along that guy okay now 40 50 through all cool we're actually almost there we're almost there we have 
two holes that are like um they're 19 okay and then yeah the distance between the two of them is 90 so it's actually it's 45 here and then vertical that there we go um shit i screwed that up again but that's okay i need a new plane and it needs to be whatever the extruded distance of that guy is 22 minus 18 cool okay now on that plane now i do this circle which is 19 vertical that and that dimension that cool 45 um, now I can extrude, uh, two geometry that, and we're good. And then, uh, mirror, uh, that along that plane. Cool. And then I have two circles to draw. Um, with the inner one being 12. Yes, I meant to do concentric. Uh, 12 concentric with that. And it just goes through deep enough. Um... Uh, to next, uh, reverse, shit, just to depth, I guess, minus 18, that should work, okay, hopefully that's correct. Two five three seven might be wrong. This is a t oh my god! I can't believe I got that hard one first try. I guess because it was so difficult, I slowed way down. There we go. All right. Well, damn! I am really proud of myself for that one there. That's a difficult one. All right, more challenges. Let's go. I got this. This is a tier five again. A lot of tier fives. Oof. All right. And then... Reveal drawing. And we're actually just going to open a new tab. There we go. All right, it's IPS aluminum. No, IPS ABS. I almost clicked on aluminum. Okay. Um, like usual, the best thing to do is probably that plate thing. So let's do a center rectangle on the XY plane. Hide the plane. Center ourselves to the, to the plane. Uh, center rectangle, and it is 5.25 by 2.25 inches. Horizontal that. No, horizontal that. I clicked the wrong button. That's all my fault. 5.25, 2.25. That looks way too wide for what it's supposed to be, but very clearly it is right. So, 
the extrusion depth is 0.25. And now we're going to fill it there, 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 there with 0.5. Cool. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we should maybe do like hmm interesting shape there interesting shape indeed Um, it's point two five. Sorry, I always do this where I get, um, looking at everything. Okay. Um, I need to basically be it's it's a point two five wall. At least yeah, all the way around is point two five. So if I just what's the distance there? One point two five. So line point two five. And then 1.25. That is actually fully defined. So, and then I do the same thing there. Okay. And then, um, line there and then line and line let's make sure those are equal and then I can do an arc there make sure that is tangent with that and then finally the same arc there that that line is not right but I can I can make it right basically so if I do that 0.25 no, 0.25 and then I do midpoint there, there, there. Okay. Cool. I... should have... Yeah, okay. So vertical, that and that. Horizontal, that and that. Cool. And an arc there, there. There, there. Okay. Whoa, why did that not... Why is... What? Over-constrained? How the fuck... All right. How the fuck is this not working? I don't understand. Uh
R.25. There we go. Horizontal there. How? How is this? I don't understand why this is breaking. This point, for whatever reason, is breaking. Um... line um equal to that line and then i need a center arc no oopsie uh center arc that that is vertical okay that's fine that is horizontal. Cool. That all worked. Alright. I don't know what the hell I did wrong there. But. Um. Fixed it. So. Okay. Screwed. Um. By 0.875. Alright. And then we need to draw on that plane. We're going to hide the plane. We're going to use that and that reference figures, maintain association. Um, but I feel like that is not. Whatever. Um, 35 degrees. That is wrong. What did I do wrong here to make all of this wrong? That is 1.25. That is, that should be correct. What the hell? Uh, no, I really don't understand. Did I extrude this wrong? Did I extrude this bit wrong? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, minus 0.25. There we go. Now that is correct. Okay. Cool. I was so conf I'm like, I know I did that right. There's no way that's in there's no way that that can be incorrect. Okay, so that should be fine. Okay. Uh, next. Um, let's continue on that plane. Uh, by making a one inch. Hang on. 0.75 radius arc. Um, with a center distance of 2.125.
Okay. That is a quite large arc. It looks bigger there, but we'll hope for the best. Uh, the whole thing... Um... Two point seven five mid plane, all right, and then circle there. Uh, that is one inch concentric. That shifts through all. There we go. Okay, we're looking all right here so far. We still have these two wing guys, and we have, like, some kind of... We'll save that, like, tall bit for last here. Actually, we'll, we'll do that circle last as well. Okay. Let's do... Um, okay, let's take a plane, this plane, and let's do 0.75, and we need to make sure we go, like, towards us here. Jeez. Oh, okay. Hey. Um, we're gonna use that. We're gonna use all of this. Maintain association. Because we are looking at this from the right orientation, so we're fine. Okay. Firstly. We have a line. We, we have a, a, a circle that is 0.875. It is a distance 1.75 from there. It is a distance uh, 1.375 from there. Cool. And then... We have an arc. I think that's vertical there. Um, yes. This arc is 0.75 radius. Okay. Now, the only thing we need now is that, that, and a line, which is tangent there, but also tangent there. Cool. And then finally, all right, let us extrude this uh, to depths, reverse it, uh, and that is 0.25. All right. I am actually happy with that. Let's go ahead and mirror that guy real quick. All right. And then finally, we just have this center part here. Um, which I am going to say circle on that plane. Um, use these guys, because I believe it's in the center of them. And then this first one... Oh, jeez. Um... 0.375 through, but what's the size of the... Okay. 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 
So... Okay, so one inch. A one inch circle. And it needs to be midpoint these guys, I do believe. And then horizontal with uh, the origin. Yeah, okay. And then finally, let's extrude that a depth of 1.125. Cool. And then circle uh, 0.625 concentric there. That is uh, uh, minus 0.25. Then circle uh, that middle bit that's through wall is 0.375. Concentric of that. Okay, I think. Oh, I have to go back and do this guy because I um took him out. All right. Oh shit! I want high. Uh, point two oh four. Nice. That's another one that we got first try. I'm happy with that. I'm actually really happy with that. All right. Whew. Okay. Yeah, Toby, if you watch this in the future, that one was actually a fun one. I did actually like that one. That was more standard compared to what I'm used to okay we've got eight more to go so uh here we go uh this isn't another tier five i don't know how we're gonna do here open image a new tab mmgs aluminum Okay, so first things first, we have this, like, bottom base plate with a massive hole in it. So, we're going to do that on the XY plane. Let's put a line here. That is 62 vertical. And then let's midpoint that biatch right there. Okay. And then I have like a center arc guy kind of what the fuck so to my reference circle I guess which is uh, that's a radius of 20. What's this inner radius, though? 25 slot. Okay. Uh, that is a distance of 105. And I'm going to midpoint these guys as... Whatever. 
Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um... We've got Q, that's 18, um, center arc, um, is 25 over 2, vertical, boink, boink, boink. Horizontal that okay, and then I need a center arc there, but not there. Horizontal that vertical that already exists. Cool line that there, okay. And then I need this three cool. I need another arc. Oops. And again, I just don't know where this lies, but I'm kind of winging it here. Um, yo, how's it going? Hey, Sydney, what's up? How are you? Good to see you, young lady. I, I'm saying that you're not as young as I remember you anymore. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, shoot, that's not what I want anymore, though. The outside radius is 20. That's so much, still pretty young. I mean, you know, we all wish we were. Let's do a arc there. There, vertical, that, that, and that. How you been? Are you 3D printing something? I am. Uh, so right now I am 3D printing a design of my own. It's to put um, this camera in place of my webcam. Um, my monitor has like a really interesting like um, post that part of the stand and the part I'm printing I can show you here let me just let me just show you uh 3d printing my own stuff DSLR mounts let me just show opening it in the wrong software but that's okay it'll still prove my point so this is what I'm 3d printing it is, um, it looks really weird, but it's going to go on the back of my monitor and I'm going to be able to mount my camera to it by just screwing in a standard tripod screw. So, uh, my own design, hopefully it works. I've been troubleshooting it for a little while. <laughs> so, uh, 20, okay. Really creative and seems to be an awesome design. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, that is probably my favorite part about 3D printing is being able to just fix your own problems around the house and do your own thing. Right now, I'm actually doing some CAD challenges. Um... um So, 
um, hopefully, uh, basically, I'm, I'm trying to better my my CAD abilities. So we will see how we do here. Um, these are meant to be difficult, and boy, are they. Oh, geez. Okay, horizontal there. This design is also getting quite... My computer is not happy with this design. It is very upset with me. Okay. Oof. Finally. Um, let's do a line there. And then a line there that is tangent. Still don't know how deep this guy is, so to speak. Um, that's 62. That's 105. Five. That's 20 degrees. That is not correct. I screwed something up there. Um, oh, that's 10. That's why I'm done. Okay. Don't know a ton about it, but I'd like to. I mean, it's basically easier and cheaper than ever to get started. Um, now, cheap is a relative term, but to get started with internet models, as in not making your own stuff, but just printing stuff you find on the internet, and there is a plethora of stuff on the internet, um, there... For, there used to be a lot of garbage printers online, and there still are, but um, basically, I would say for right now, your best bet is, like, you can get a Bamboo Lab A1, which is the same brand that I've got going there. It's just more the style of my other one. Over my, it's that style rather than that style. But I would definitely go for Bamboo because they are just, they know what they're doing. Um, but they are 250 bucks right now. Which, for what that is, is unheard of, basically. For, for what it is, absolutely unheard of. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't taking a loss. Um, and they very well might be. But it... You know, two hundred, uh, yeah, it's not bad for what it is. Now, obviously, you do still have to buy things like filament. Like, that is not... Like, filament is an expandable resource. Um, but also, filament also isn't really all that expensive. Like, it is. Like, But depending on where you shop, you can get it from 15 to 30 bucks a roll, depending on what brand you like. Oh, my... What have I done? I done? Oh, jeez! What the f flying hell is this? Pardon my language. I did not mean to. What my whole sketch just broke, and it's not undoing. Um. <laughs> um. Well,
Um... Try to get this back where it's supposed to be here. Oh my. There we go. Coincidence. Um. Oh my. I. I messed up. Okay. Um, why doesn't it like any of this? Let's, sometimes you just have to start over, right? Sometimes you just have to start over, and it's fine. You, you just have to tell yourself that it's fine, and it, you just have to tell yourself that it's fine. There's a reason this is a tier 5 part. Let's stop doing crazy bullshit with the origin and let's just deal with it not being where I'd like it to be and just place it there. Okay. Well, we're going to put this line on the origin. There we go. I try, try again. Exactly. Exactly. So my problem then ends up being one particular distance but I can figure it out, man. It's cool. It's cool, dog. Everything's fine. All right. Um, let's just make it... Let's just make this full round, actually. Um, horizontal. Let's make... Let's even... Let's simplify this even more. All right? No. 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 Eh? Eh? No. Um, my Alibre is really, like, freaking out here. Um. Radius of 20. That's fine. And then, can I get a vertical between these two, please? Yes, I can. Okay. And then, I need a line here. And I need a line there. And these ones need to be tangent. All right, cool. And then the center there is 105. I've got the drawing down there in the corner. Um, the, 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 that that corner, that drawing over there on the other side. I've got so much crap on the screen right now. Um, So I've, I've got the drawing down there that I'm trying to to copy. And basically the whole point of what I'm doing is to um, get good at making parts from drawings. You know, the, the skill that is, like, worth money. So, okay. That's much simpler shape. I think we're good. 14 thick. Okay. Now, another sketch there. Um, as far as CAD goes, sorry, I uh, totally lost track. Um, as far as CAD software goes, um, you can get started in CAD for free depending on how comfortable you are with your personal data. By that, I mean, like, uh, Fusion 360, you can use for free, but they... Also, like, here's the thing. If you don't know what the product is or the product is free, then you're the product. Your data is the product, and they're, they're making money off of it. Um, with that being said, there is free CAD, which is really, truly, honestly free. doesn't collect any data on you. It's also not really the best CAD option for every person praising it. There's another person saying it sucks. Um, I wouldn't really spend my time on it. Onshape is actually free. Um... It's legitimately good. Um, but uh, it's online only, and 
uh, has no commercial use whatsoever. You're not allowed to do any kind of commercial use. Um, and if you break that rule, the actual product is eighteen, uh, $1,500, uh, $1,500 a year, I believe, which is a lot of money. Um, and it's online and it's a perpetual license. So by that, I mean, if, um, if they go out of business, then you're screwed. You lose all your stuff because you're relying on them and their software. It's the same problem with every other perpetual license, right? You know what I mean? Like every other is the same problem with any other perpetual license, which is if, if they go out of business or they decide the licensing needs to change or whatever, then all the money you spent up to that point is, is theirs. If they discontinue the product, oh well. If they raise the price, oh well. You know what I mean? Like, so same issue with any other perpetual license product, whether you like that business model or not, there are potential problems with it. Um, anyway, I know I can do the math, but, um, or I just make look Hey, I mean, that really problems around the house and making knickknacks. I mean, everyone scoffs at, oh, you're just making, making Stupid knickknacks. Well, some of the stupid knickknacks are freaking cool, okay? Like, some of the knickknacks... Once I'm done with this part, I'll show you. Some of the knickknacks you can make are freaking cool. Like, there's there's so much that's just so cool. Um, I've got, like, a, head, uh, a headless Jack Skellington up there. Right there. I've got a cat. I've got a couple different Pokemon. I mean, there is so much you can do that is so nice. Um, as well as if you decide to learn CAD, you can fix so many. I have a whole video on YouTube, actually, with a couple hundred views. Basically, it, it's I think I literally called it uh, You Should Learn CAD, I believe. Um, I believe that was... The title of it and i'm i'm i genuinely believe that because of 3d printing alone the value of learning cad to the layperson is exponentially larger because in the past right cad was only useful to businesses the museum hey museums are cool man that's what you got to tell her adam says museums are cool period Okay, if she doesn't like that, then that's fine. Um, absolutely agree. See? Um, anyway, in the past, right, um, the usability of CAD to the layperson was tiny. Because if you wanted to manufacture something, you couldn't. The layperson that is us, has no way to manufacture anything. If you go back, you know, 20 years or whatever, the layperson has no way to manufacture their own stuff, right? Without spending thousands of dollars on niche hardware that does them no good whatsoever. Um, well, now you can get a 3D printer, you can get a cheap Amazon special, 3D printer for, you know, 150 bucks. You can get a nice, reliable, proper 3D printer for actual, like, for 250 bucks to 700 bucks, and you can get something extremely high end for, you know, a thousand bucks, which you don't need, by the way. Cheap 3D printers, and by cheap I mean mid range, are completely fine. And they will satisfy everything you'd ever want or dream of. Um, but again, for 250 bucks, man, that's, that's something that makers would have not even been able to dream of, you know, 15 years ago. Imagine Einstein being able to make plastic parts in a couple hours. Like, as long as you're willing to wait for it to print. And, you know, the, I'm actually running mine slow so that it makes less noise. If you don't care about noise, then, <laughs> then she'll go. 
Oh, she'll go. Um. Okay. Now, I need... The 15 degree draft angle, is that on all sides? It is. So... Let's go ahead and use that. Let's turn that, that, and that. Oh, that, that, and that into regular figures. Draw a line there. And then finally, uh, 57 minus 14. All right. Love the anime One Piece. Really want to make them all the fruits from the show. I am absolutely sure that, um, that that's a thing. I am absolutely sure that there's probably already models of that, of fruits from the show. Um, mm, that's a problem. Okay. Hang on. Can we do it as a chamfer? Uh, angle distance. Angle 15 degrees. Distance. Uh, 57 minus 14 again. Hey, all right. Bought him three off Etsy for Christmas. He loved them, immediately wanted more. Absolutely. And you can you can paint 3D prints. You know, if you've got painting skills, you can paint them. Or, I mean, if you're cool with the solid colors, then you can get a freaking rainbow of them. Like, I think, I think you follow me on Instagram. Just go... Go check my Instagram. I just posted my very unhealthy filament collection, and there's more that it's off. There's more that's off. Um, off the camera. <laughs> so, um, unhealthy. Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Um. Okay. Uh, that's a wall of five. Uh, okay, we're going to make that and that equal. And then this, this needs to also be five. Okay. Actually, I need a reference figure there. Reference figure there. I totally messed that up. Okay, and then shift E through, oh, I messed up, I messed up, okay, there we go, uh, okay, and then we need a fillet on the inside of each of these, uh, fillet, fillet there and there, that is... Five. Okay. We're getting ever so much closer. I think we're actually nearly done. I love painting, so that would be so much fun. Good, yeah. Um it takes a little bit more time to print models that are uh well paintable. Now if you're just gonna do like I don't wanna say a, a hack job, but if you're gonna do like a ton of extra shading and and all that extra stuff like painting D&D figures, you know, where they have that really high contrast work. Then, you know, you're going to have to to really put, basically put the printer on, on the slowest, um, some of the slowest settings. But, I mean, if you're also wanting a model that's that nice, then you don't mind and you're used to that anyway. And it's still better than waiting overnight for... Um, or, you know, four or five, six days for your model through the mail, I guess. So, that's uh, already there. Okay. Is that right? I believe it is. 
I think... I think that's actually our model, guys. By guys, I mean girl. Um... 318.0. Oh my gosh, I did it first try again. Didn't even think of D&D figures. Lucas and his brothers love D&D. I'm going to make so many gifts. Exactly. Um, I have printed so many D&D figures. I mean, D&D figures are so expensive. And sometimes you just need one or two or a dozen characters, but just for like one or two encounters. Like kobolds. They're, you know, you need a lot of them. If you want kobolds, you know, professionally made ones, they're so expensive. They're just kobolds. Who cares? I, I print them in red. Everyone knows what they are. They're good. So now there's a lot to learn. You know, you're gonna, you're definitely gonna have to learn. But um, if if I know anything about you, if I remember anything about you, it's that I'm pretty sure you really like to read. Um, unfortunately, there, I, I guess there are tons of forums and things. But if you like to read, then you like to learn, which means there's, you don't mind watching. All the YouTube, there's so much on YouTube about how to do it. Like everything else, you know, you can watch YouTube for hours. Now that I'm done with um with that model, let me show you some of my knickknacks here. All right. Webcam, here we go. We have Totodile. I don't know how you feel about Pokemon. I know that it... Kind of has faded out of existence. We have a Totodile. And a Charmander. Now these are low poly models. But it makes them really easy to print. Um, yeah. Put these back up here. Here is the one I think you're really going to like. And i got to be gentle with him. Because if I drop him. He has a lot of little delicate pieces. This. Is Headless Jack. This took like a day or two to print. I think I did it on my old one. I think I did it on that one. If I remember right. that took This took like three days to print. Um, in fact, I definitely did it on my old one. So if I did this on my new one, it'd be so easy. There's even still some supports way down in there. You can see this took a lot of support. A lot of work with some pliers getting in there. I did actually break some of his, the teeth down there. But I think it works with like the pumpkin anyway. So it works fine. It just looks like the the pumpkins just got some some stringy bits coming down. So I think it works anyway. Um, there's stuff like this guy. There's tons of these. We call these flexi models. Um, this prints flat on the bed like that. I mean, not like that, but you know what I mean. He, he prints flat. And then you pull them off and you kind of... Give him a little bit of a of a of a crack, so to speak, and he does that. It prints just like that. Um, a real ocarina. Actually, if I if I move the foot back, there we go. Um, I got like a rose up here. Um, I printed off a plaque trophy for last year's um, charity event for the max donation. Uh, I'll be doing the same thing again this year. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a D&D &D figure. There you go. I forget what these guys are called, but um, that's a D&D &D figure for you. I mean, it's unpainted, but... Do I dare pick up? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This guy printed as well, all curled up as one flat piece. It's one piece. One one piece. Not the anime one piece, but what one part. Um oh. The blink fox. Gotta show the blink fox. Blink fox is amazing. Uh, there's a double sized one that's a dice tower. I did print that one. So it's again for D&D. &D. Uh, do that. Oh my god, I almost forgot Newt Schwanstein. 
Neuschwanstein, Neuschwanstein Castle in uh, in Bavaria, Germany. This one took like three days on the old one. My new one probably could do it in one, but I would. It would be even faster if I um, cut off this first bit, all this extra on the bottom. It would have been way faster. But um, tons of benches. Um, the actual shelves, actually, those shelves, that shelf, and that shelf, are actually three D printed. I uh, took the measurements and made them in CAD. Um, so that's some of the benefits to CAD. Um, I'll quickly run over like some of. So like um. Here I'll wait here. So like on shape is one of the free ones. On shape is cool. You can, there's a free hobbyist. I don't remember where the free hobbyists ones. I think you have to go to pricing and then do like the free plan right here. I think that's, and you got to make sure you don't like put in a credit card. It shouldn't ask you one. Um, so this one's the online only one. It works kind of like Google Drive. Um, they do, you only can create free open documents so if someone searches the exact name of your document it's going to come up publicly and they can make a copy of it they can't modify your own but they can make a copy of it you also have no commercial use so whatever there's free cad which is uh actually really and truly free but this is the one i was saying that like for everyone that loves it there's another person that hates it it doesn't use industry standard nomenclature and because it's community developed you never can guarantee if a feature is going to be added unless you do it yourself. And unless you're a really good computer coder, maybe not. Um, Fusion 360. Uh, same thing. They have a free version. Um, but this is the one I was saying. They sell all of your, your data. But, I mean, it, some people care about that. Some people don't. It is one of the industry standards. Again, all of that I'm showing you is industry standard except uh, FreeCAD. Um, this is a good one to get into, to try. Um, what I've decided to do is because I don't like paying yearly, because I don't like my stuff, um, being sold. I don't like paying monthly. I don't like a perpetual license that could go up. The price could go up or all my data could be lost. I don't like cloud, cloud stuff. I try not, I try to avoid all that. What I've decided on is a Libre and some people love them. Some people hate them again, but, um, so a Libre, you is not, they have no free version. I'm not sponsored by a Libre, but I made a video featuring them a little while ago, and they did give me free uh, a couple of free copies uh, that I'm that I'm really using. Um, but um, for one ninety nine for their cheapest version, forever. Lifetime. This is not yearly. This is not monthly. This is a one-time payment. Now, this is their cheapest option. You might want to upgrade down the line, but you can also email them and be like, hey, listen, can I get like an upgrade cost? They yeah, don't sell your data. I've checked their privacy policy. Their forums are really nice. There's tons of videos on YouTube on how to use it. This is what I've gone with. Do they have every single feature that the industry standard has? No. Do they have workarounds? Absolutely. And for everything I want to do, they're plenty. Um, now, obviously, as you get up to Design Pro and Design Expert, that's a lot of money. But, like, you're also looking at industry standard software. Like, Photoshop used to cost $2,000. But, like, that's pretty good. Exactly. I mean, I learned. So, what I did was I learned on Onshape, the online only one. I learned on that. And once I realized that I enjoyed using CAD, I enjoyed doing it, and I really I really liked making my own stuff, and I realized that it was a useful skill to learn, then I committed with the money. You know, then I committed to, to Alibre. They work similarly enough. You can move your keyboard commands over, um, things like that. So I would try a free version first to make sure. Obviously, if, you, if this is a hobby you're wanting, wanting to get into, start with the 3D printer and start with printables.com. 
or Maker World or Thing Thingiverse. I prefer printables um, personally. But start with printables and you can find everything. If I search here, uh, if I search One Piece. I mean, some of this is like one because they're saying that their model itself is only one piece, but um, if I can spell. Uh, barrel stand for one piece devil fruit? It's just a stand. Did they grab? These are stands for them, but how, where's the actual models? To set devil fruit on, where's the actual devil fruit models? Hello? Um, okay, so there's a, th okay, there's others like on, on Thingiverse. I don't like Thingiverse because they have the ads. There's, there's so many ads on Thingiverse. It's kind of overpopulated now. I prefer printables because they're actually, um, a little bit more defined. They have contests as well so if you decide to get into cad you can enter your, your things in contests and get free stuff um but even if you don't contests kind of ensure that people make cool stuff and you can always like find cool stuff you know so if i'm looking for like um something specific you know that i'm like oh i guarantee someone has um has has i guarantee they've done a contest on it you can scroll Easter 2024, you know, Easter decorations, uh, sewing kit stuff, camera accessories for instant cameras, bathtub toys, fish tank tweaks, Valentine's Day, bathroom shelves, cutlery organizers. These are all contests they've done, they've done which basically ensures that you've got a couple hundred models to pick from of cool stuff. Door, door stoppers, Zen gardens, Halloween, you know car holders, plant climbers and supports. So if you find something that you're like, man, I know that's going to be like a popular 3D printing thing, I usually look in the contests because then you know like the first place winner is going to be amazing. And some of the things that these people do, I I'm, I look at I'm like, wow, I'm, I could never have done that. So um, set some time aside. Obviously think about it because 250 bucks ain't bad, but it's still you know a good amount of money. Definitely think about it. Um, when you look it up, um, I definitely, if I were to do the money, I would go with the Bamboo Lab A1 for sure. Or the A1 Mini, if, you, if you'd like. It's a little bit smaller in size, build volume size. But the A1, money, the A1 Mini is still a good printer. Um, but I'd go with the full A1. Um, look it up. When you start looking up 3D printing on YouTube, you're going to find a lot of people that love resin printing. And they're gonna say, oh, if you want to do D and D models or figures and stuff to paint, do resin printing. And they're like, you you can't do the other uh, F. This is called FDM 3D printing. Resin printing is nice. It's a lot more expensive to get into because you need a second machine. It's a lot more dangerous. Um, 3D printed fidget slugs. No, I haven't. Let's let's look it up. Um, resin printing is cool. Uh, it's a lot more dangerous because you need to work with alcohol and the resin is harmful to your skin. You need well ventilated areas. You're working with chemicals. Just do FDM printing. Okay. Uh, fidget slug. Uh, reprint fidget slug. Slug fully articulated. One of these guys. Uh, one of these guys. These are cool. This is print in place. Yeah, nice. So this is print in place, meaning you literally just set it and forget it. You don't have to do any extra pieces or whatever. You just pull it right out the build plate, which is really cool. Um, probably this is a really that's a really good print. But what I would do first is a Benchy. 
it's short for benchmark. Um, and you've seen these all over the internet, I'm sure. And that's just to make sure your 3D printer is working right. The filament looks good. Everything's coming out okay. You don't have some kind of major problem. This is basically like, um, you know, when you when you get a new fridge or some kind of new appliance, and something to do with food, and they're like, run water through it first for like a gallon, and make sure that's good. This is essentially what 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 you're doing. Um, I have a couple of them up on the shelf up there as well. Um, and that's and chances are you'll be fine, um, especially if you get like bamboo's own filament. Um, but this is just a good idea just to make sure because you don't want to like set this slug and be super excited for this slug and then something doesn't turn out. Um, and the only other thing that you have to learn for 3D printing if you're just finding stuff off the internet is a slicer. And again, most of them are just drag and drop nowadays. Um, so... This is a slicer. Uh, I can load up. Um, oopsie. Hang on. If I load up. Um, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, you know, what the hell is going on here? My own my own stuff is like uh come on. I don't know, let's just do um this thing. Trying to find a model to to show the slicer. So, basically, let's say this is the model that you've made. This is what converts the actual 3D geometry model into uh, uh, a code that the, that the printer can actually read. So, your model needs to be sliced. And that that is literal. Like, it needs to be sliced into layers because everything on a 3D printer is printed in layers. So... Basically, you load it in. Over here on the left, you've got your settings. You're going to tell it the layer. Most of this first one, you're not even going to touch. Um, once you, like, most of the standards is fine. Strength. The only thing I ever really change anymore is strength and support. So, wall loops. That's basically how many times around the outside does it do a solid, a solid line before it gets into the inside, which is infill. So, if you printed everything solid, then you would use so much filament, it would not be profitable or um it would not it would not be worth your time so you fill some of it with infill so if i go down you can see this is not solid it's printing like this wavy pattern in between to fill it up because if that was solid not only would it take ages to print it would take so much material um but so that's infill um speed and and then support so if you have something that's like an overhang most people design their models to not need support and most people will go out of their way to make sure you don't need support sometimes you can't avoid it um so like if i okay so like this thing this is a design of my own. It's a cable winder for little things. Oh yeah, sometimes supports are a bitch. Um, so like, I can't, there's no way to print this. This overhang here, there's no way to print this. You can't print into thin air. Now sometimes you can do what's called a bridge. So if there's a little piece here, you might be able to, to get away with it. But this overhang, the, what that's ac actually end up gonna look like is it's gonna slouch down. And it's not going to look good. It might not even work. And this part's going to be really weak and, and vulnerable to being broken. So what you're going to do instead is go to support, turn it on. Tree auto is fine for this part. And there you go. It's going to put little tree branches in the way. 
You can also do normal supports. Which are going to do like that. It looks more like scaffolding. Tree is usually easier to remove. Um, and, and less material. Um, supports, you really do have to dial in. I, if you got started in it, I'd definitely send you over my support settings. Because that's one of the hardest things to, to get right. I'd send you over my, my settings so you can just copy what I've got. So it, uh, so it works out. Um, other than that, the only other thing you want to look at is a brim. If your model is really tiny... Or the base of the model has a really tiny spot and it's not going to hold on to the bed because you want it to stick and the bed is designed to stick. You need to do what's called a brim. And what that's going to do is basically give it that extra around the edge to make sure that it sticks. So there's a little bit to learn, but all of this is, is super doable. And, you know, with within a couple of days of watching YouTube, you know, you got it all down. So. Um, and you've always got me uh, a text or a phone call away. So if you uh, if you get into it and you have questions, so. Let's see. Here. I think we're going to get into the next. Um, the next challenge model. Absolutely. Absolutely, and because the thing, like, that's, again, why I'm recommending the Bamboo A1, is because, for the most part, it's out of the box. You've got quick instructions, and you'll probably be up and running within an hour or less. Some of the Amazon specials, like, I love my Ender 3, which is that guy right there. I love that printer. It was my first 3D printer. I've also probably worked on it and had failures just as much as I've been printing on it and had winners. So, um, and that's not necessarily their fault. It's just, it's a, it's the printer itself is the hobby rather than making stuff with it. And if that's what you're looking for, if you like making things, if you like taking apart electronics, if you like soldering, if you like running new cables, taking things apart, adding new parts, then maybe that's what you want. Um, that one didn't take me too long to put together, but some others are completely disassembled. I mean, completely disassembled. The A1, I think, comes in two parts, and you just screw them together, and you're done. So, Bamboo has really done something cool with, basically, they're trying to make a 3D printer less of a, um, less of a, uh, less of a time sink for working on the printer, and more of just an appliance, like a microwave. You just set it, and let it do its thing, and come back, and it's done. And I, that's... Something that 3D printing has not been. I like making things from scratch, but sort of fixing things already made, not something I'm... Exactly. So, I mean, like, I... Excuse me, I'm, I'm tired. Um, that printer is basically my backup. I Since I've gotten that one, I barely have touched that one. So, you know, because why do it on that one when that one can do it in a third of the time and more reliably? Don't get me wrong, I have had failures. I have had failures on the P1P. Usually it's my own damn fault. And if you basically always err on the side of caution, always use, use the brim, support more than you think you need to, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do support there, I don't think it needs it, just use support anyway. You know, if you always err on the side of caution, use fresh, good filament, then you'll probably be fine. Um, And then once you start learning CAD, uh, Check, check out my cat YouTube videos or some of the amazing people that I always, that I learn from on YouTube are also amazing. Uh, they're all fantastic. The, the CAD community on YouTube is actually, you, it's such a weird thing, right? But they are really, really awesome. So, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I think there's a link somewhere connected to Twitch or maybe I can... No? Well? Okay. Hey, cool, you found it already. Well, I was trying to see if, uh, if I had a theory bot. Okay, cool. I thought I had a, a chat bot thing, but I guess not. Um, we are going to try to do some more CAD here. Um, and I'll multitask, of course, while you're, uh, while we're chatting here. Uh, we are in 1060 alloy. 
MMGS. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so these are challenges. So CAD is not really as hard as this makes it look, in my opinion. Because these are supposed to be difficult. Um... They, th this is like, you know, the spelling test at the end of the week, so to speak. I mean, this, it's fun, but it's really meant to make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, and this angle, I do believe it showed me, which is seven degrees. Okay. And then let's uh, extrude mid plane. Let's extrude the whole thing by 60. Bigger than it looks on the picture. It looks like a really small piece on the print on the picture, but it's not. Let's um. Let's yes, fill it all of these by uh, 15. Nope, that's 14. 15. Shoot. Edit. 15. Here we go. And then that's okay. That massive. Um, like warning almost is really helpful. Okay, four. Let's um use reference figure there and then see I've got fourteen through all and then the uh it is twenty six uh that why does that look too small that's it's because it's not dang it it's um Hmm. So oddly enough, okay, so wait a second. I'm okay. I got this. Okay. It's twenty two. Okay. I got this. So the whole thing is 14 through all. It's 22 there. And then that's the same. That's P39. Okay. Now that looks a little bit closer. There we go. And that one is 26. Concentric there, shift E, uh, which is minus eight. Okay, that looks much more like it. All right. Um, so there's a. S Okay, so now we just have what is going to be absolutely the hardest part of this whole part, essentially. Um, let's go ahead and make a new plane. Offset it by 11. Um... It 
doesn't look right, but it is right. Oh, no, it's not right. I'm, I'm dumb. Um, 21. There we go. Now it's right. Okay. And we're going to L there N P use that. Okay. L, uh, 20. And then this distance is 85. And then this distance is 15. Nice. And then... This is going to be really, really tricky. Okay. So I need to make, like, a reference circle up here somewhere. The whole reference circle is 85. To locate... Hang on. Use that guy. Um, already exists. Okay, cool. That's what I need. That distance is 103. And then this distance... is 90. All right. And then this is why these are challenges. Excuse me. Uh, 46. Who? Let's see. There we go. And then finally, uh, I think, I think if we're both tangent here, 199, no. Is it not supposed to be tangent with one of these? Um, it's weird because it looks like it should be, but they are specifying. That. Okay. I know what they're saying now. Okay. There's a line here. This line is 20. Uh, report spam. There we go. Cool. Sorry. Um, no. Oopsie. This. There's there's a line here. This line. Point. This. This part, like I thought, is tangent. This.
the hell? Okay. Funny how I lose a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. This is 175. Is there a point that I should be measuring from? I feel like I should have the um, the distance for that point. Also, I feel like I feel like that um, that's not right. What the heck? I am so confused here. Hmm. So I know this guy is one... That's, there's a 20 line there. For some reason. We know... This line is okay. Let's do a let's replace this line to make sure that I'm not crazy. Okay, this this distance is fifteen. This distance is 85. It's saying that that that's 175, but it almost can't be unless Unless this part is not tangent. So like... Distance there is 20. Okay. Let's, let's just vertical that for a moment. Let's just do a line here that is vertical. Let's coincident that and that. Let's tangent that and that. Okay. Why does that not look right? I don't understand. They're obviously... It's obviously supposed to be tangent on both sides. So I don't get at all what the heck's going on here. Because I can't seem to make it tangent on both sides. So...
Because if it's tangent here, then that's the solution I get. If it's tangent here, then that's the solution I get. So... So this challenge, like one of the competitions or something you do for fun, um, they do competitions, yes. The same guy does competitions. Um, he does tournaments and everything. And uh, generally, it's pretty, pretty darn good. They're actually some of the most friendly competition I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm not really, comp I'm not competing right now. This is kind of just for fun, but he does competitions, if that makes any sense at all. So, what's my problem here then? I legitimately don't understand what my issue is here i have an 85 millimeter center bore that seven ninety that's 20 that's correct And this line, this is definitely on this line for sure. Have you ever competed before? I have not. I am not fast enough to compete. Some of the stuff that they... Oh, man. It's... So it's literally speed modeling. Um, It's a real thing. And... Damn, are they fast. Um, wow. I, like, I have never seen any, anything so fast. Um, I am missing something here, and I don't know what it is. Let's, the, screw it, let's do this other one. So we have this guy. Vertical. No, why do we have a... No, vertical there. Okay. Let's do a arc there. Let's coincident that on that line. Oh, sorry, with speed, too much correction. Let's do everything. Hey, that's... That's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. 90. So, that's, end it with that, and then I do 90. Yeah, that's my only option. So, I don't understand what my problem here is. Because only one of these can be tangent. Very clearly, that is not the model. Um, unless, like... Yeah, unable to determine a solution. As in, that can't also be perpendicular with that. Yeah, exactly. I am struggling with this one. I'm going to have to see what someone else does on this one. Because I am 
beyond struggling and I don't understand what's wrong and I'm like really confused um picking a brain learning from others is the best option that's kind of what I think I'm going to do I might um so we're going to save this one for later. Um, TTT challenges. We're just going to call it Struggle Bus. Okay. Uh, uh, chances are it will be... Let's, let's go back. Let's do a different one, shall we? Practice models. Let's go to something a little easier. Something that I know I can do here. That one sucked. This is a tier three. Let's try this one, shall we? All right. Click here to begin. Reveal. And I'm going to shove it in a new tab because it's a bigger picture. 1060 alloy. Let's go. Hey. Um, let's make after two. Let's make that bigger so you can actually see a little bit what I'm working on. Okay. Planes. What the hell are we doing here? Okay. Okay. This one. I can probably do in literally one one sketch. Um, well, one sketch to start. Let's um, let's do a line like that, and a line like that, and let's um, let's say that that that. Oopsie. Uh, let's say horizontal. Let's do. There we go. And then uh, distance one angle one twenty, and then twenty eight apart. Cool. This one is actually looking relatively easy. Uh, hopefully, I don't eat those words, but it's actually looking pretty easy. So, all right. Um, and then I've got line six, and then center arc of eight. So if I vertical, 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 oopsie. Uh, I also need to turn that into a reference figure. Um, and then dimension that. Uh, four. There we go. And then this one is seven. And then this is another eight. What did I just press? Oops. Oh, geez. Come on. Thank you. Oh, shit. What did I just do? Okay. Uh, vertical, that, and that. There we go. Okay. And then... Uh... One twenty minus twelve. Oh. All right. And then I need uh, 
Oopsie. You click there. Okay. And I need this, this, this is 12, and this horizontal. And then I just need that 51 over 2. There we go. And then click there. Click there. All right. And now, you ready for this? You ready for this? This is the cool part. Revolve around. Hey, all right. It works. So now, um, that's, yeah, that's the fun part. So now we have... Okay, so this is, um, so if I do, see, if I do a rectangle like that, and I do, And then same thing there. And then this doesn't really matter. So let's just 20 and 20. And then let's um, shift E and we want to go um, Oh, hang on. I made a mistake here. This is the beauty of parametric CAD, is that you can go back and fix things when you make mistakes. This line is 175. And then I can just refresh the whole thing, and it's like, okay, we'll fix it. I just go back, and magically it knows whatever I need, whatever I want. Um, so 120 minus 12. There we go. That's what I wanted. So now I've got one of these, right? One of these guys. Put my planes again. And then I'm going to do a circular pattern. Uh, this. Uh, that's the center. Four of them. There we go. And I believe that 212 is the answer. Hey, all right. That one was actually fun. That one was good. It was it was kind of simple, but um, sometimes you need those easy ones to remind you that you know what you're doing. <laughs> Somewhat. Kind of. A little bit. Eventually. Um... That one's a tier five. We're not gonna do a tier five part. The higher the tier, the more difficult they usually are. We're not gonna do a tier five. Right now. Um some more really simple ones actually. Let's some of these are gonna be really simple, but um let's do it. New tab. Uh, MMGS, ABS. Uh, so I'm opening, um, templates that I've made in the past or that, um, a friend of mine made in the past, um, just to make things easier. Um, because essentially what, um, He, he, there are certain dimensions or certain um, part materials to make sure to make sure that you've got the whole thing right. He um, 
he he measures it by the mass of the part. Well, to find the mass, you need to know what the density of it is. Um, and you also need to know what material, what material, and all that kind of stuff. And most every single um, software, every single CAD software is going to be able to calculate the mass of whatever part, right? Um, so basically in order to make things easier, um, we have all that stuff set up in a template file that we just open the template and it's all good. Okay. And those holes go all the way through. So I might as well do the holes here as well. Those holes are six. Um, they're up. 20 from the base and there's another one horizontal yep and then these are 33 and then if i center 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 what am i missing nope oh. uh they are horizontal okay and then Extrude mid plane uh, 33. And I'm already nearly done with this one. Um, use that reference figure, maintain association. Uh, circle needs to be 12, 50. And then circle there needs to be. Uh, 22, shift E, it's mm, minus 6, uh, 1, 4, 5. There we go. Cool. I don't know how long that one took me. Three minutes. Not bad. Okay. Believe it or not, as fast as that was, the speed modeler on when the competitions is faster believe it or not it's crazy they are insane um they do like two or three models in that three minutes that it took me to do the one if you're looking to to watch a competition if you want to watch competition friendly competition something different head-to-head -head friendly competition or something different not sports not gaming or whatever Watch back the CAD competitions or watch them live when they come out again. Because it is something different to watch them go. Um, and it is completely different. Okay, what we got? This is considered a tier one part, huh? Interesting. It is IPS Steel. Yeah, they are nuts. Yeah, but it's some good friendly competition. I got to give them credit where credit is due. You know, some friendly competition is, is nice. Um, 0.375 over 2. And then this. Um... Okay. Um, three over two, and then the whole thing is uh, one point five over two. I purposely do everything like over two or whatever um, to remind me that I'm working with the radius rather than doing the math in my head I can go back and see what I was thinking um, I need to know, like, what? Okay, 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 okay. I see what they're doing here. 
Okay. So I've got another piece like here that is 1.25 over 2. And then... Um... Oh, actually, hang on. So goes in, and then this distance is one point two five over two. There we go, and then the line. Uh, we have angle there, which is 135. And we have a distance here, which is 0.125. And what are we missing? Of course. We need that and that. And this is 3.5. Finally, okay. And then deactivate, revolve, uh, that one, okay. And then finally, we need to put a hole through the center, which is 0. 0.5, um, distance from the top. is 0.75 and then it is of course um it wants to be vertical with origin and then cool if i get this one wrong uh 1.1 1 .1. there we go i was gonna say if i get this one wrong i'm gonna be upset okay submit cool that one Took me longer than the last one. Oddly enough, this one's considered a tier one. I think that should be a tier two. I guess you could draft it. That might be faster. Drafting those angles. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Man, you're like my, my personal cheerleader. That's awesome. Um, thanks for the... For the celebration there. It's always always nice. Um, so there yeah, he's got so many practice models here, and there's a leaderboard of who's completed the most. And obviously there's a finite number of them. But um us in the Alibre CAD community have been really trying IPS AVS. Have been really trying to stay with all of the models completed. Um so, okay, sketch on, we'll go XY plane, we'll go there, and then, okay, so, by the plane's line, the line is uh, 10, it is horizontal, it is uh, coincident with the origin. Uh, and then we will also midpoint there. Okay. Next, this line is 0.75. Next, this line is 1. Um, okay. And I need arc between the two that is 18 cool and then uh, E let's do mid plane and the whole thing is 0.75 okay and then let's uh, do another sketch there use the whole thing maintain association 
Let's do... Okay. Okay, okay. That is 2.5. Uh, that is 3.5. Uh, that is 1. And then shift E through all. Okay, now, uh, fillets. That one and that one are uh, 0.75. And then finally, that... Oh, geez, I need to do like 0.1. Uh, that, that, and that are all 0.1875. And then, uh, 0.26. Nice. That one was a fun one, too. That one was really fast. How, how fast was that? 255. Nice. Okay. Take that. And I'm slowly getting faster, and I will eventually compete as well. Uh, when I compete, you guys will know. I, I don't know if I'm quite good enough yet. But yeah, these, all of these are the practice models down here in the corner. Like, that's a lot of practice models. So, um... Let's do this Tier 3 machine part here. Uh, click here to begin. Reveal drawing. New tab. All right. It is 1060 aluminum. MMGS. It'll be so cool. Definitely watching you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ooh, my uh, new piece is almost done too. We'll get to see if it works. Um, okay. Okay, okay. So... It's C X Y plane. This whole guy is twenty. Extrude him. He is twenty. Okay, and then chamfer there and there. Um, Forty-five by one. And then, um, the, there, there, use, there's, fine, okay, C, it is, uh, four, uh, I want vertical to the origin, and I want Distance to the origin to be 5.5. .5. All right, shift E through all. And then finally, um, on the opposite plane, so this guy, I need to make a cutout. P R that is um twenty four by four shift E through all Oopsie I calculate thirteen point six nine Hit. That is not right. Uh, and that's plus or minus 04 grams as well. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Let's see. That's 10, that's 2, which is 4, that's 12. Inspect measurement mode. What did I do? Delta's. 12, that's right. Um, 
Oh, duh. I'm dumb. Okay, that's cool. I'm, uh, this whole inside hole is 12. Uh, shift E. Okay, there we go. Uh, 9.38. Is still not right. Um, okay. Very confused here. This looks... Correct. Oh, it's only through one side. Oh, that hole does not go. Uh, it's that should be fine. Oh, hang on. Five. There we go. Nine point five one. There we go. I rushed. It's so cool. Okay, that's the previous message. Okay. My print just finished. Sweet. Um, I can't pull it off the bed quite yet. Because I need to wait for it to cool. I don't really have to, but it's easier to pull it off the bed if you wait for the bed itself to cool. Um, you don't have to wait for it to cool, though. I prefer to wait because it makes things usually a little. Leave it up there. No, no, we're not. Okay. So here's my trick for getting things off the bed quickly. Move it all the way up as long as the nozzle's out of the way. Move it all the way up. And there's a little fan. To the left there, a little fan duct. You can barely see it under that massive light bar. And then I turn on that fan. It's going to be a little loud as I'm talking. But that's basically going to very quickly cool. Um, it's going to very quickly cool off the bed. And the temperature change will, uh, will uh, allow us to very quickly take care of pulling that off. Okay. In the meantime, let's try our tier 5 part here. Am I going to make it? I don't know. But new tab. This doesn't actually look that hard. MMGS carbon steel. Um, there is... Okay. I'm not sure how to go about doing that bit yet, but I'll figure that out when I get there, I guess. Um, okay. Cool. Tier 5, the hardest. I think he goes up to 10. But, um... Tier 5 is some of the hardest I've ever done. So... For what it's worth. Okay. We're gonna do circle on... That plane. And let's... What's this circle here? Uh, 28... And then 20. And then it all goes up by 30. Okay. And then halfway up through that, we have a circle. That is 8. Horizontal with that. Uh, 15. 50. It is through all this time. Okay. And then... 
we have this bigger circle, which is 38. Um, and six tall. So C, 38, screwed six. Okay, we've got that much going here. Okay. We are going to, on this plane, make a sketch. There we go. And use that guy, reference figure, maintain association, P, and okay. Um, it makes contact. Oh, I just heard a pop from the 3D printer, which is a good thing. You want, we want to pop. Oopsie. That's 20 there. Um, that pop means it popped from the bed. Uh, 51. There we go. Okay. And then... Yeah, radius 19, I think. I think these lines are going to be... Um, and give us our radius of 19. Just to, to see here. Oop. Just to see. Yeah, I think that does work out, doesn't it? Okay. Just to be certain. Let's, um... Yeah, okay. Okay, and then let's do this just to be sure. 51. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, let's midpoint extrude that. Oopsie. We're, it's not closed. Now let's midpoint extrude that. Uh, extrude midplane uh, 9. Okay, and we're not going to worry quite yet about anything quite yet. Okay, we are going to make a new sketch on that plane. We're going to utilize that. As reference figures, maintaining association, hide the plane, center ourselves to it. And then we're going to start deleting stuff. And you're going to be like, well, why? Well, I got a plan. So now we have a path, right? We have that line. The hardest part of this sketch is uh, this, this part. So, oops, <laughs> you guys are seeing my script there. Um, this part here. This part here. The whole thing is flat, like, with the circle. Match of the circle. So, that's the hardest part of this, um, this sketch, or this, this model. Right? Nope. Oh. The hardest part of this model... is um why hang on why are we um give it a sketch we'll do there then 
Okay, there we go. Um, use that and that reference figures. Okay. And then center arcs like that. And then And then it's fine. Okay, so now I have that shape. And now we cookie cutter. That's our path. Why does it not like it? Status. No valid path. Does this whole thing have to be... Hang on. Edit. It's five. Does this whole thing have to be... um? Regular figures. Yes, it does. Also, why... Is that like... Hang on. I am so confused. It's like around the base of the... What the hell happened here? So, firstly, that's the wrong type of sweep. First off. I wanted a... a that a sweep cut sketch to sweep um that one pass objects that but we are like not okay so i've got the right idea though so let's try again here let's activate a sketch there and then let's do like I was doing before and use that and that. I think my issue might have been because it wasn't like touching. Um, could be wrong. Oh, it's because I measured from the... That's just because I measured from the origin. Okay. Cool. And now. Uh, sweep cut. Sketch sweep. Blah, 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 blah. Sketch to sweep. There we go. Much better. There's our thing. Five. That and that. Please give me a fillet of four. And I think one seven nine. Ooh, ooh. I think that was not too bad. I don't know what I was missing on the one that I couldn't get. I don't know what I was missing there. Um, I'm gonna have to hit up the forum and see see what people are up to. Um, but that, that was good. That was really good. That is all the challenge models. So now, now we have some fun. Now we see if my, of my print works. Let's see. First, I can, um, turn off that loud ass fan. Oh, so much better. Okay. All right. Well, it looks good. Looks good. Whether it fits, we don't know. It's going to be a weird camera angle. But basically, you just got to Put it on C. Okay. Actually, that looks good. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. All right. So now, now here's the question. Right? Um, 
<laughs> let's um let's be smart about this here. Let's um let's see if I can place my camera here on stream. Normally you don't do this kind of thing on stream, but I'm gonna do it on stream for the for the lols. For to lols. I'm gonna need my screwdriver, my handy dandy screwdriver. Alright. And then I'm gonna need this to go there. Basically, just before everything shatters and breaks. Um, okay. Now, now we have this. It looks weird, but it actually is fine. Believe it or not. <laughs> um, let's do a couple other things here. Um... Yeah, let's untangle my headphones from my chair, and let's not have my headphones dangling from my head when I do this. Firstly, I need to go grab something. I'll be right back. Not even, not even sixty seconds. Bear back. Yeah, I um, it's all royalty free stuff. It's not my own music, unfortunately. I do have some of my music still hanging around from time to time, but um, I don't think I have any of it on Twitch actually. I don't even know if I'm allowed to show scissors on Twitch. Crazy what you can and can't do on the internet anymore. Remember when the internet used to be a pigsty? I loved those days. You just go, ah, oh, the internet. Didn't know what you were going to get. Never knew. You could walk into a, to the nicest people ever, you know, giving an old man the best birthday of his life, or just an outright, like, just, just a war. And honestly... Honestly, that was better. Those were the days. I mean... Can I ever get this? Can I please, um... Sydney, help. Sydney, I need your, I need your nails. Definitely had a lot more freedom for sure. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Need your nails. Tweezers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting it just slowly. I think I can get it with my hand now. I just needed something to get it started. Get a lip. There we go. That was a fart noise. 
Okay. Eh. Eh. Cool. All right. Now. Now for the battery. For the camera, because I'm not going to be able to reach the battery compartment. Well, this is um, hooked up. This isn't finicky at all. Uh, not finicky at all. That was so easy, getting that battery in. By battery, I mean adapter. Not, not a battery. Because I'm not going to have my webcam on a battery. And then, um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, um, the evil villain noises are totally justified. Um, and because really, all I'm missing is USB, and once I plug in the USB, I've been struggling with this thing all, all freaking night. All night long, I've been messing with this, and... Because it's prototyping stuff is the longest part of making your own stuff um, with 3D printing. And it's the longest part. So give me a second. I got to plug in this camera. But then. Where did the Then, then, turn on autofocus, and then, a little bit wider angle, honestly. Huh. All right. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. So hang on. We're way closer. Let's um get rid of that and add a video capture device at existing DSLR, okay. Um properties. Hmm. Should be working. Hmm. Does it want a card in the camera even though even though I'm not actually doing anything, does it want a card in the camera? It might want a card in the camera. Put a card in the camera.
I have a feeling I just want the card in the camera. My camera itself is just flashing. No card, no card. Come on. Come on. I can't see or feel. There we go. Maybe. Do I like it now? No? Do I have to unplug it and plug it back in? Um, off and back on. No. Um, hmm. Um, I add a new rather than doing that one let's add a new video capture device and let's do EOS webcam utility that way no okay let's do EOS Okay, we did a repair on the driver. Still doesn't like it. Oh, come on. Now I just, I just gotta like. My brain. Can't hear anything. That might help to tell me whether the camera's getting plugged in properly or not. I feel like a stethoscope. I feel like I'm using a stethoscope. I'm trying to listen for the camera. I'm listening for the trying to listen for the USB. Do, 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 do. It's um not doing it. Okay, now I'll turn the camera off. Back on. No. Well, darn. Um, heard a static sound. It might be. Might be the microphone just being rubbed up against it. I don't use the webcam's microphone. I have a, a proper one. Um. How about? Okay, now. Oh. Now, I heard the sound. You hear the sound? That's what I was listening for. Now I heard it. So now, 
should be in business. Why it's not doing anything still, I don't know. Next, repair, repair, finish. Add video capture, DSLR. Excuse me, sir. Um, Um, movie mode, and then, okay, let's, let's start from the beginning here. Hate when technology decides to, to be mean, yet right. Yeah, I, I don't know why it just decides to not. No. Um. Clearly the webcam utility is work itself is working. For whatever reason my camera is just not like putting up with it. Sort of my laptop bad, heavy Sims player, probably more than ten thousand mods and custom content. That's why it's always yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, right now we're not um I guess notice we have two viewers right now. Um, right now we're not uh, doing CAD right now. We're we're trying to see if my custom um, camera mount will work, and it's it's not liking me. And the f well, oh hey, all right. Got it. That's like... Actually, that is about right. That's way zoomed in. I need a different lens. But that is the new camera. All right. Interesting. Don't know how I feel about that. It's definitely, a, it's definitely better quality, but I need it zoomed out. It is much better quality. It just needs to be zoomed out. Which I can't really do with what I got. I need a basically a zoomed out a better lens. Um because no amount of like unless I get like way back here, and that's about like the same. But that doesn't quite work. Because I'm like really far away. So. 
It would work. Just need some troubleshooting, but I can do it. I have proven that I can do it. How much is a, um, how much is a better lens? Also, what kind of lens are those? That's 50 millimeters. Okay. Um, Hundred and fifty. Let's um let's see what they have. Okay. Um, shit, what's that other brand? Um, shoot, it's, um, there's Tamron and then there's, shoot, there's one more brand. I think it starts with an S. Cameron is the other off brand, and then there's like. Shoot. I wish I could remember. Um, Sigma. That's what it is. Let's, um, yeah, okay, so 150 bucks for the lens that I would want, but I know that this works. I'm looking in the wrong spot now because I've got a different camera, but, um, at least I know it works. I know how to fix it now when it's not working. So this is definitely an upgrade that'll probably be happening soon-ish. Need to save up some money, but at least it's working. So I'm happy with that. Nice. Cool. So there's that. Um, how long have I been live? A little over three and a half hours. Let's see. Should we, um, what should we do here? Should I? Do I have any other projects that I need to be working on? Any other like 3D printing projects I need to do here while I'm while I'm thinking about it? Um hmm. I don't think so. Do you stream any games? I certainly do. I certainly do. In fact I, I this is like this only the second time that I haven't streamed a game actually. Um, uh, I was streaming Pokemon Crystal earlier today. By that, I mean, like, borderline last night, like, one in the morning. Um, I don't know what game I should play right now, though. Also, we're going to turn off that camera because it's, like, really weird to, to see it. Um... Let's see here. I don't know what game to play. See. Hmm. Uh, Pokemon Crystal. 
is the one I was playing. Pokemon Crystal version. Uh, it's an old Game Boy Color one from before either of us were old enough to to do any Pokemon anything. Um, let's open up Steam. Oh, you know what? Let's, um, I know exactly what I'm going to play right now. It is very nice. Um, there, it's way different. Usually, I'd prefer Hoenn region, but uh, I hadn't been in Johto region in so long. So much old Nintendo stuff. I mean, it's back when they were a decent company. Sorry. Um... Okay. Change that. All right. GameCube a couple months ago. I want to get a GameCube. Getting one in working condition around around here is difficult. Um. Let's see. Let's. There we go. Uh. Not that. That. There we go. This. He only needs controllers. Yeah. The best way to, to get into GameCube or any of them is um, to, to hope that your local used game store has, has some. Um, so this is Starship Simulator. It is a new game um, that is starting to pick up some steam um it is in early 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 alpha tech demo like um it's uh he got it from a friend who bought it from for nothing a good one wow lucky lucky duck i really i just want it for legitimately playing games on stream because with the GameCube, you can use, like, the Game Boy Player and play Game Boy games on stream. And then GameCube, of course. I was never a GameCube kid. I always had PlayStation. Um, as, as you know from from Trey. Um, yeah, so I was always a PlayStation kid. But, um, you know, I would love to get into it because there's so many classics. I always use Xbox, exactly. Um, we're, uh, flying to the center of the galaxy here. Um, on a very, very nice starship, um, this guy is working on this game, and I can't wait for to see his progress. I really can't wait. Um, there's still a lot to do. I have the newest one right now, but I miss my connect. It made streaming so much easier. Yeah, makes sense. Um, which is interesting because a lot of people hated connect. Um, but it's probably half the reason the Xbox One failed. Um, just get yourself a gaming PC, man. Get yourself a gaming PC. There's not a ton to do in this game yet. Uh, I want one so bad. I mean, yeah, money is the biggest thing. I mean, basically, for something... Right, yeah, no kidding. Basically, for, like, a decent gaming PC, a desktop gaming PC... For just the tower, you're not even talking, you know, keyboard, mouse, and monitor. You're looking at $1,500 to $2,000. That is a big chunk of change. 
and that is the biggest barrier to entry for PC gaming. Um, and I wish that um, that wasn't the case. But it is. I forgot you can just ragdoll to try to fix I forget what the... There's a button to change uh, camera perspective. I don't remember what it is. Controls. Cycle camera mode. I thought it was C. It's not working. There we go. Uh, trying to save because he wants to use one too. Um, so, it all depends on what you're wanting to do. Definitely budget between fifteen and $2,500. Um, now, if you really like controller games, if your games, if all the games you play run with controller and you like using controller... Get a Steam Deck. Steam Decks are 600 bucks, and they're amazing. Um, now, they are a little underpowered compared to the $2,500 gaming PC. A lot underpowered compared to them, but most most games are going to run just fine with no issues. And I guess this one runs fine, too. On it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, now, granted, not everything runs on it, and you're going to have trouble if the games you want aren't on Steam. But it's a really good option. Um, otherwise, for the money, you can adapt worst case. Exactly. Um, and the other thing with the Steam Deck is you can plug in a keyboard and mouse. You can connect up a dock and a, a monitor and, and use it just like... Oh, geez, the sound of the, the running isn't actually running. It's just increasing the animation hear it it sounds like I'm a squirrel who's trying to catch catch my grip I sound like hammy and over the hedge um anyway um but again you know six hundred dollars versus twenty five hundred dollars obviously you're making sacrifices um steam decks are really nice machines but they're basically like a switch pro it's the switch pro everyone wanted you know, it's got nicer graphics. It feels a lot nicer. The controls are a lot nicer. It doesn't have detachable controllers, but you can always, you know, connect up an Xbox controller or whatever, a PlayStation controller. It is the ultimate portable game system. I would pick it over a laptop. If I'm going to be doing gaming, I would probably pick it over a laptop 75% of the time. But it's not a game. It is a full-on gaming PC, but it's not a gaming PC. Um... You basically got to save up. Um, luckily, we're in a new year, and the next generation of parts is about to come out within the next few months, which means you can get all the last generation parts on eBay from reputable sellers for less money. And worst case scenario, they're only a year old. Yeah, they're used, but it's only a year old, so what do you care? Like, used parts aren't that bad for PCs. Um, as long as you buy from reputable people. Um, I mean, monitors, it depends on what you want. You know, I've got a nice ultra-wide couple, couple hundred bucks. Um, keyboard and mouse, you can get Walmart special for keyboard and mouse to hold you over. I mean, again, nice keyboards are a couple hundred bucks, but the Logitech MK15, I think, is a keyboard and mouse combo, and it's like 20 bucks. I gamed on it for ages, you know. It's they're nice and um, obviously a nice proper keyboard is what you want eventually, but for like twenty bucks or whatever they're they're nice twenty twenty five bucks. Uh, I'm used to small screens, so I can probably go without needing something big and expensive. And the thing is, you'll get more power. Like everyone wants like fourteen forty four K whatever nice HD, and eventually yeah, you know you might want that, but. If you run on 1080p, your hardware will go farther because it's not as many pixels to move. Like, you have to remember, 4K is n nightmarishly amounts of uh, pixels for your graphics card to move. So, if you use a smaller monitor with less pixels, then your graphics card will go further and run faster because it's not doing as much work. So you can save a little bit of money that way if you're sticking with 1080p. 
and brand new 1080p monitors are 150, 200 bucks compared to four, five, six, seven hundred, three thousand. You know. Um, and then if you do want to upgrade down the line, congratulations, you have a second monitor. If you've never worked with a second monitor, you'll never want to go back. Yeah. Exactly, because for until graphics cards get faster, and they will, eventually 4K will be the new 1080, and 1080 will be unusable. Just like 720 is basically unusable nowadays on a screen big enough for a desktop computer. Like, you, you can't do it, you know. But what you do is you do what I have, is when you eventually replace that 1080p monitor, you put it there, or you put it there. And those become your side monitor so you can watch your TV show while you're doing whatever. Or you can live stream and have your chat up at the same time. You know? Um, I'm gonna, honestly, so right now there's not a ton to do in this game and I'm kinda, I kind of purposely booted up to just chat. Um, cause I'm, I don't want to move, uh, you can use a TV. So TVs aren't monitors. They, I would say for temporary reasons, you can use it for sure. Uh, you want to make sure you go into the TV settings and turn on game mode. Um, and you'll be, you'll be able to get up, get by just fine. I think Trey's using an old TV right now. Um, you'll be able to get by just fine. Um, but there certainly are drawbacks to using a TV. Um, they're definitely not as, oh, there's not one unlocked. Definitely not as, um, Roku TV. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Hey, if it works, then hey, no issues. Game is it? Come on, Crystal. Getting some comments here. All right. Uh, do an exclamation mark at the start of it. Exclamation mark, dad joke, for the commands. Um. Sorry, uh, I, this game doesn't have a whole lot to do in it right now. Um, did you know that there are enough bones in the human body to build an entire skeleton? Now you know. Um, see? Hope you're not disappointed. And uh, I don't know if there's a cooldown on it or not, but you can do more. Um, so, anyway, this game is definitely early access. There's not a whole lot to do in it right now. It's just a tech demo, but I want to see the center of the universe, damn it. I'm going to the center of the universe, and it is actually going to take 2.76 real days. What makes it funny is the lag your brain had. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, th that's... That always makes jokes funnier. Keep hearing noises. I think it's just my ice maker. Um, interesting thing about this game is how everything is simulated. Like, Starship Simulator, you go, oh, it's just going to be a game where you fly a Starship. No, 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 no. Um... I know your dad used to watch Star Trek. I don't know how much Star Trek he used to watch. I walked in to the living room one time and he was watching uh, the original series. But um, all the freaking buttons they're always pushing on the consoles, you're actually pushing buttons. Like, all these things, I can disconnect the bridge lighting. And there it goes. I just pulled the fuse for the bridge lighting. Like, it's, it's done. No more bridge lighting. There it is. Like... All the wires. Nice. Oh, I, I love um, the original series, Next Generation, and Voyager for me. 
I didn't really connect with Deep Space Nine or Enterprise. Um, all the movies are good, though. Well, except for anything past 2009. <clears throat> but, anyway. Um, kind of a shame that most everybody is dead now. Um, the final season of Picard, I keep meaning to watch. I heard garbage about, um... Heard garbage about, uh, the first two seasons of Picard. But the most recent one brought back the Enterprise D. And, um... The original series, absolutely. And Next Generation, of course. You gotta watch Next Generation, too. If you haven't, then do yourself a favor. It's good. Um, especially the early seasons of Next Generation are way closer to being like the original Star Trek. As you go, they get a little bit more interesting, but, you know. Um, so basically, like, there's wire actual wire that is simulated and runs all the way down to the engine room. And you can go and and mess with fuses and relays and pull the power to certain decks. Like, if I... Hang on. If I skid, skididdly addle with my fast hyperspeed running... Boom shiners. Excuse me. William Shatner is supposed to be a Comic-Con and, uh, ooh, interesting. That'd be fun. Man's, how old is he now? He's like a million. I am so, he's a legend and I'm glad that he's still around with us. But I am very, very sad already. Reminds me of your dad so much, <laughs> right? Yeah, so here's um the distributors, right? So here's like all the um the fuses. So I can go to F deck and disconnect power. The F deck forward section. So here's F deck. Uh we're on the rear side, but here we go. F forward. There, there ain't no power. I just pulled it. Uh, it's so interesting how it all works. Everything literally works. Like, so when you take damage, like when games actually, when the game actually has like simulated damage because you get into firefights with people, it's going to matter where you get hit because you're going to have to actually go and repair. If you get hit in an area, you're going to have to rewrite, actually reroute power. You're going to have to actually go flip fuses back on. You're going to actually have to mess with the, the reactor. Uh, here's your main reactor controls. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> like, the starting the reactor is a whole process. Starting the reactor is an entire, entire process. And I can't really show you because I've got battery power charged up now. I can probably disconnect them somehow, but I don't know how. And I'm not going to go figure it out for an hour. But starting the reactor is a whole process. You have to go, like, connect up the, the fuel lines and the coolant lines. And do, like, the starter battery. And then come over here and put it on the starter motor. And start the vacuum pump and the coolant lines. And then, like, wait for the pressure to adjust. And then you have to go around to all the fuses around uh, one deck to the batteries and connect everything up. Um, it is a whole 15-minute process. A lot faster if you have people with you, which it is already a multiplayer game, actually. Um, and if you want to mess around in this, it's actually currently free, and he plans to make the whole game free um, with the money-making going to um, add-on ships. They plans to make this ship fully featured. Um, and the money is going to come from add-on ships and add-on solo missions. So the sandbox is going to be the free part. You just fly around and basically enact your own Star Trek adventure. Um, it might. It might not. Um, but because it's free, you can try it and find out. Um, the attention to detail already... It's crazy. Like, 
Doesn't those that wood paneling look familiar? Doesn't um that wood paneling look kind of familiar? That wood paneling kind of look familiar? Doesn't that wood paneling kind of look familiar? Like he has literally made like the major continents into all this wood paneling by the bridge. It is insane. Like just the small little details that are like this is like Earth's I hate to say it, space force. But the little details is like this is a united Earth that's working on this, which is really cool. Um the windows have like simulated um one, you can turn on polarization so if it's super bright outside from a star. But then like yeah, I don't feel like looking at space today. The meeting room is now Autumn Park. Or, um, Misty Forest. This is the demo. This is the tech demo. Uh, you know, Rocky Mountains, anyone? Rocky Desert? A Shady Forest? Uh, Coastal Highlands? Snowy Forest? Evergreens? Rockies? Grassy Hills, Autumn Park. So again, like, you have to remember, like, yeah, there's a lot to, ex there's a bit to explore, but and you can explore the ship. There's also a lot missing, which is why it's a free tech demo. Basically, it's showing the concept of, yeah, everything's kind of connected how it's supposed to be. But then, like, there are no weapon systems. There are no enemies. There are no other aliens to discover yet. These are like the crew quarters. They're, they're empty. You know, there's... They're still working on it. You know, there's no turbo lift yet. All that kind of stuff is going to come, but I'm so ready for it. And he's working on it. Um, and I'm so excited for it. Really, I would love to be able to adjust the windows in this room. This is um this is the bar and like mess hall area. I'd love for the bartender to be able to come behind the bar and do the same controls and change the whole place to look like we're in a forest or something. That'd be cool. The Star Trek game on Xbox, very cool. The graphics are so low quality, very old school. Yeah, and that's... There's not really any game that actually has the spirit of Star Trek. There's Star Trek Online. It's just a freaking starship space battle simulator. You fly around, you shoot other starships. And then you land, or I'm sorry, then you orbit and you transport down and you shoot other other Klingons or Romulans or whatever. And you come back up and you shoot other starships. There's not really exploring, it's just the action the action y parts. You know, it's it's not true Star Trek fashion. So probably. Um that was Star Trek Online. And there's like bridge simulator or whatever that's way old. Then there's the um, the VR bridge crew, but it's pretty um, scripted and you basically know what's gonna happen. So, so whatever. Um, but this game is designed for you to come together with twenty people, whether you're, they're your friends or randoms. Someone to sit here in the captain's chair. First officer and sensors and weapons and communications and all that. The whole ship is a crew complement of 200. And apparently he's hoping to get it so that you can play with 200 real people. Hopefully. But you're meant to sit here with your buddy. Someone on tactical. Someone on sensors. Someone on communications. Someone on the helm. And literally act out a whole ship. He's wanting to have... Um, and this is the part I'm most excited for is the voice chat. You're not meant to go and play and, and get in, on Discord. You're meant to use your communicator, like on the ship. You're meant to go, you know, bridge to engineering. You know, I need more power to to the to the faster than light drive. Or um, bridge to the science science lab. I need information on this species or whatever. You're meant to, yeah, yeah. It's going to be proximity chat and then the, um, the communication between different rooms and decks and things. 
from what he's saying. Um, that's the goal from what he's told me. So I am super excited. Um, I'm I'm ready. This is the, actually the the galaxy right here, and the only other bridge station other than the helm that is that is actually simulated is the sensor sensor range. So I can go stellar region, galactic region, star system, and it changes. Based on that, um, proximity chat is such a good feature. Most games that have it are just amazing. Um, it's such a good thing. It's so good for immersion. Is it raining outside? I keep like hearing, no? I keep like hearing something. Maybe my cats are going nuts. Um, yeah, proximity chat is so nice. Oh, a long time ago called Project Winter. Oh, I've heard of that. I've seen that. It's like, uh, yeah, the, uh, I've seen a lot of content on that. I look, it always looked fun. Um, around when Among Us was popular, you know. Um, oh, you don't have to be sitting in a chair. To do the console, so I can just press red alert. Well, maybe this might be too far, but if you're close enough, you can still just press the alert buttons from wherever. You don't have to be sitting in the chair, so the captain or whoever else can just walk up to a different console and just press the buttons. Um, which is kind of cool. I think people lost interest after Among Us. Yeah. It was overdone, too. Literally everybody picked up Among Us. It was a fun game, but it picked up too fast, and people just got tired of seeing it. So the whole genre kind of died. Um, no, it's just a, yeah, no kidding. Kids and racial slurs. Prove me wrong. Um, <sighs> I don't know why my 3D printer is still showing. Um, I keep trying to think of a different actual game to play rather than just sitting here, although I'm enjoying chatting. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't had a conversation with you since you were too young to have a conversation. So, uh, I do play Stardew Valley. In fact, I've got a whole playlist of Stardew Valley on my YouTube channel. And I plan on picking it back up. I'm trying to give it a break. It's probably been six months or even longer since I played it. Um, I love Stardew Valley to death. Um, actually, I'm surprised you didn't notice... Um, actually you can't, you can't really see it, but, um, Stardew Valley Fair. About to come out with a massive update. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I'm basically giving it some time. I beat the community center and I'm giving it some time before I do the, um, the post game stuff. You know, the 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 extras. Um, because I don't want to get burnt out on it. But yeah, I I also have the um the Sardu Valley wool. Do I have it anymore? Uh well, that's too bad. Um as I'm gonna just go back to my old save. Um I used to have the Sardu Valley board game, but I don't know if it's in my possession anymore. I feel like it's at Brandon's house and Brandon and I are iffy right now. Um, but I do have the entire soundtrack on vinyl. Yeah, I would show you, but it's, it's across the whole house. Um, but I, yeah, I have the whole soundtrack on vinyl. 
you need, yeah, it's got some nice artwork and everything. It is so nice. Um, I never get it out because I'm so afraid I'm going to break it. And it's so, like, special to me. But it is very nice. Huge, really? All right, cool, nice. I wouldn't say I have a huge record collection. I maybe have 20 of them, maybe. Mostly Metallica. Um... Uh, at least one Tool album. Um, appreciate the older things. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you just gotta deal with the older things. Um, what do I, what do I actually want to play? That's multiplayer. Get into that. Um... Hmm. Do I feel like playing? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything for home I need to design. I can't. Baldur's Gate? We do Baldur's Gate. Do I have it installed still? I do. Yeah, okay. We can do Baldur's Gate. I need to update it. I took a. I had to take a break from it because it was getting me angry. Um, it's a good game, but you can't go back and forth between regular D&D because there are differences. Um, and you have to remember that, like, you have to remember it is a game. So, like... One of my biggest things was like, I go back, I mean, I try not to. Um, but my issue is that like, there's a lot of bullshit in the game, quite honestly. There's a lot of bullshit and there's only so much you can do. The dialogues, that's the worst part. There, excuse me. There's only so much you can do with a game based on multiple choice dialogue, which is so different from the whole point of, um, the whole point of D and D role playing. It's so hard to role play your character in Baldur's Gate when you just are limited to. Um, limited to um, multiple choice. And there's so many instances where you're like, um, yes, Discord channel. Thank you so much, man. You're you're like all over this. You're the best, man. Oh man. Um, yeah, there's so many, it's like, um, classic scene when the goblin asks you to smear, uh, shit all over your face and either you have to smear shit all over your face or you have to get into a battle with all 20 of them. What? What? There's no other option. Welcome back. I don't know how much you heard and how much you didn't. Um, oh, shoot. I don't have my... Um... Um, resolution. Sixteen by nine. Except. Hey, thank you so much. You're the best. 
Sydney, you are the best. Um, gameplay, where's, um, uh, where is the streamer mode? I need to make sure I do that. Is it under accessibility? Okay, I think we're good. Everything's turned off. Okay, cool. Um, didn't want to get banned for uh, Baldur's Gate being Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Oops. All right. Uh. We good? There we go. Oh, nothing happened. We're good. Unless you, unless something dropped. Oh man, we got four people watching. Hello, everyone. Hello. Where did all you guys come from? Hello, everyone. No, um. No, I just got to make sure that I uh, turn off the nudity for Twitch. Um, no, 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 I just don't want to get to that point. I don't remember how to play. I don't remember at all. No clue. I'm also lagging a little bit. Um... No, you're good. Uh, that reminds me. I will be right back because I really should go grab a controller for this. Like, 60 seconds. Yeah, I prefer Baldur's Gate with the controller as well. Baldur's Gate runs we, uh, really well on Steam Deck. You can tell that the graphics aren't as nice as they are on like a full size, full proper PC, but for basically being able to play Baldur's Gate on the toilet, <laughs> it uh, it's it's nice. Um, same thing with like, uh, Hogwarts Legacy is really good about it too. Huh, we're connected. I think my front USB ports are dying. Yeah, I think my front USB ports are dying. I'm very confused. Hell yeah. I wanted to do 100% and I am still working on it because I have zero patience. That's why. Can I please 
have controller? No? Please? Can I? Hello? What the heck? Controller? Hello? I've connected up with two different USB cables now. And it's like, nah, mate. I'm talking you with me to uh, taking you with me to grab coffee. All right, nice. Sounds good. So buggy when you played it, so it made it difficult to 100%. Man, that sounds fantastic and definitely not like a mess at all. Um, it's connecting, but then it's also not connecting. He's not charging. Come on. It's just like every USB port on my computer dead. Is, is that what's going on right now? My computer just... Piece of junk. Is that what it is? I know this USB cable has worked. It was working with a different controller on my Steam Deck. Not even... Not even a couple hours ago. So confused. I'm so confused. There we go. Apparently only one USB port on like oh, all of my, maybe I'm running out of USB bandwidth because I've got like a million USB devices. That's probably the case. All right. No. Okay, why can't I hear Boulder's Gate? Hello? Hello? There we go. That was weird. All right. Yeah, I think my PC's um, bandwidth is getting, getting upset with me. All right. Um, I don't remember, um, what I am or literally anything. Oh, this is the wrong save. Um... That was uh, not the stream save that I've been using, and my other half would be very upset with me if I was playing our story mode save.
powder. All right. There we go. That's more like it. Everybody nearly dead. That's what I remember. Yeah. That's what I remember. Everyone's dead. Cool. Sydney, I just dropped a whole bunch of um whole bunch of channel points at you for being so super active and subscribing to everything and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Oh, hello. Mm. Hmm. Yes, you have. I saved you mm. before. At the golf place. All right, man. Have fun. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. Become a Mori player. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Beirun. The fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Feel better, I promise. Yay, we've been, we've been, our minds have been infiltrated by something. Um, I don't remember how to do anything. 
Um, there we go, R2. I remember now. You're gonna leave camp short rest, turn based waypoints, alchemy. Wait, I thought I had um this character sheet, duh. Um has parasite, please. Hmm. Hmm. I have a parasite somewhere. Where is it? She just said to consume the parasite. Where is Welcome back. Welcome back. I was told to consume the parasite in my inventory, but I don't think I have one. I'm not quite sure what it's talking about. Hmm, gold ingot. Yeah, I'm not quite uh, sure where this... Oh, is it here? Is this it? Yeah, there we go. This one is a true foe parasite. It can haunt you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Let's open our mind. Yay! Oh, yeah, that's salty. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Yay. Cool. All right. I think we're just like a ranger. Something like that. Um... Uh, we need to leave camp. Right. It's been so long since I played this game, so I'm going to have a hard time figuring out what the hell is supposed to happen. Um... Okay. There's a chest here. Oh, lots, lots of stuff. Ooh, hell yeah. Uh, we're encumbered, damn it. Yeah, we really could um, stand to sell some shit. Cool. Come on, Gale. It's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. Well, hopefully there's nobody out here. Not yet. Um, 
Real quick, let's go to character sheet. Let's toss some of this shit at some of the others. Um, actions. Let's send Shadowheart some stuff. Uh, Shadowheart. And then oh, also Shadowheart. And then, um, also Shadow Heart. I have a whole smoke powder barrel. It's 26 pounds. A hey, Shadow Heart. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hello. They don't seem to mind too much that I'm here. Um, yeah, that drum's busted. Yeah, and then there's Priest's gut that I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure what I'm... I really, I remember basically any way I went about this, basically having to take on the entire castle. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to deal with that. Um, so one shovel, shell a crude mace, a dagger, another dagger, another dagger. A needle of the outlaw rogue. I don't think I'm a rogue. I actually don't remember what the heck I am. Shit. Well, I didn't mean to sell those. Oh well. Uh, an aged journal. Don't think I need that. Some of this glassware. I don't think I need that. Um. The one gold for this brain. Nice. Sounds good. Amulet of Lost Voices. Need some motivation to play. Hey, it it if give if watching me just absolutely suck um motivates you, then you will have much motivation. Because I am about to just trigger this entire place. Um. Alright. Uh, let's go back to my character sheet. Alright. Cool. Um, do we have, okay, the drums are definitely 
all busted. Can I, I wish I could look up. I don't think there's anything. I want to, um, I want to see, like, what can I actually do? I want to, like, kill her in one hit, honestly. Because the problem is I know I need to kill her. But I know that if I try to kill her, then... Oh, what the hell? Who... That guy doesn't like me. Why does he not like me? That's not good. Um... Um... Yeah, they're all... Why are they all temporarily hostile? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, here's the thing. I want to get him away from the rest of everybody else. I don't want to go down that way because I'm... Barely certain he will. Who? Barely certain he will, um. Get everybody else. Okay, see? We're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I want to do this whole thing. I also. See, why is everyone suddenly... Why do they all suddenly hate me? Why? Why does everyone suddenly hate me? Now I've got the whole place on, on me. I don't understand. Like, I just walked through this whole place and none of them cared. And then suddenly I walked over here. And everyone triggered. And now I walk back down here and everyone triggered again. I don't understand. I wish that um, it would tell me, like, on the side, hey, they found a dead body. Well, also, if they found a dead body, what the hell does that... Why do they care? They don't know it was me. Like, that doesn't mean shit. So, I'm just confused. So, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Gail, shut up. No one likes you. Uh, eventually I had to fight all of them, but I did in section stealthily. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Apparently I screwed up. That's okay. Um... Um, hey. 
Oh, good. I wish I would have. I wish I knew that that was a thing. Two crits in a row from him. That's fantastic. Gale is. He's not. He's sleeping for some reason. Oops. Um. I'm just like barely out of range. That's sucks. Yeah, I I hate you. He he's I I hate him. I don't think his I I hate how it's like. Oh yeah, I need to just eat. If you don't literally give him. The magical items off your back, you'll be like, you don't care, I'm leaving. Either way, you don't get anything, so why are you leaving? I don't understand. Good, good. Dead. Uh huh. Well, that's fine. Um. And then inflict wounds. Motherfucker. Um. There we go. Nice, nice. Good, good. Alright, cool. I gave him everything he wants, but I'm also a pushover. He's... I, I just don't like him. Can't just join my party yesterday and be like, Oh, by the way, can you give me literally all magical items you have? I'm gonna blow up if, I've, if you don't. How have you not blown up since? Sir, that doesn't make any sense. How, until now, you've been fine without me. So why is it now you need my magical items? I say you're lying. He's lying. He's lying. There's no, how did he do it without me? Case closed. He's lying. Shit, I accidentally skipped turn. Like... Interesting.
I suppose I'll help you, Gail. Dick. All right. Um, I have a parasite to consume. The hell is it? I can't ever see these things for whatever reason. Like, what the heck? I just picked it up. I know it's here somewhere. But why do I not see it? I must be absolutely insane. I just picked it up. I know I just picked it up. I think it's in the other menu. Is it? What, um... This one? Oh, okay. I forgot. I didn't realize because the first time was like, go consume it in your inventory. Nice. Cool. Cool. We need to so here's the thing, we need to go to camp. Where are you going? We have work to do. Enemies to kill. So I can't even Great. Well. Can't even go have a rest. Interesting. Actions. Send a gale. Gale. Actions. How do I... Oh, I have to actually do... Gale, and then character sheet, and then that. Okay. Do a short rest? Actually, yeah, probably. Um. Okay. Cool. I'm almost certainly going to have to battle. Yep. Six more. This is absolutely ridiculous. What? You didn't need the extra movement a second ago. That sounds fantastic and like it's definitely not a problem at all.
Path has interrupted my ass. The door is open. What the heck? Guys, the, the door is open. The, it's a pretty clear path to me. The door is open. Guys, the, Okay. That's fine. I did what I wanted. Hello. And then... They all have to come through here if they want to deal with us, so... I'm just going to make that whole thing uh, impossible to traverse. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yep, just get everybody in here. Just get everybody in here. Oh, good. All right. Well. Good, good. Um, cool.
Need some more ranged. More ranged stuff would be nice. For God's sake, why? Why does it have disadvantage? Ugh. Okay. You know what? Whatever. Just. Yep. Okay. Um, hmm. And then... Good, good. Okay. We're actually doing okay here, surprisingly. Very, very surprisingly, we're doing all right. I'm not. I'm. I'm not talking. I'm sorry. I'm um, trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Shit. Good, good. Oh, father, harden my heart. Okay. Um. Let's, um, they've gotten a little closer, but oh well. So kill them, I'm happy with that. Okay. Cool. We're actually surviving. Of course, there's also like 50 more. There's like 50 more guys outside. So, um... So, um, yeah, there's like 50 more guys outside, which... Begs the question, what the fuck else? What am I supposed to do? I must reach them. Okay. The plan is kill the one guy left, Shadowheart. Just, 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 just kill him. Just kill him dead. Good. Good job, Shadowheart. Um, 
Okay, how about you do a firebolt? Okay, good job. Do you remember what difficulty have it on? I think it's on just standard. Just just normal, I think. Shut out it ain't bad. She's alright. Alright, cool. Oof. Save. Sure. Alright. So it's been five hours of a stream now. Um, I think I'm going to call it for today because I'm getting hungry and tired. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so... That's, um... I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, Sydney, you're fantastic. It's good to talk to you again. It's been a long time. Um, and I've... Uh, it's weird to, it's interesting to, to talk to you now that, um, you know, I'm not talking to, I think the last time I talked to you, you were like seven. So, so it's, it's different. Um, but it's nice, nice to see you again, so to speak. Um, but anyway, to you and everybody else, thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember on my channel every day is a weekend. Make sure to check out my uh, YouTube and discord and weekdayweekend.net for more weekend vibes. I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye, Sydney. Bye, Reban, if you're if you're here. Bye, everyone on on YouTube. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.